Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a Total Annihilation replay. I am Postal, Core Commander. Today, we've got an exciting international match right here. We have Team France, represented by uh, Med and Nico. Uh, so, Medmo uh, and, uh, and his good little buddy, Nico. Uh, and then we also have, on the other side, uh, we have Tip Tushi, uh, the uh, Finnish player, and then Rock, uh, Tag Rock. Um, he is a... Uh, uh, that's a, a new person we're introducing here. Um, he, I believe, he hails from Gibraltar, uh, hence the name. If I had to, um, if I had to guess, um, and he is a member of the Tag Clan. So uh, this is just Team France versus whoever else wanted to play. It seems, and we are on John's Pond, uh, so a map that has pretty good wind. Um, and you can see how it looks like the wrong commanders in this spot right here. They use the command command warp. Um, so in the game, they're actually in the right spot. So Nico is actually up here on the right. Um, and we have um, Med over here on the left. Now you see on the top, they're setting their share of energy to zero. Um, Med's also asking for 80 metal because he just built a single win and is going air. So, and he's saying in French uh, to build four construction vehicles and then go see. Rock is asking if he should go air as well. Tip has gone air. Tip's saying he needs C fast, so it sounds like they're planning on mimicking what uh, the other side is doing. Now, this game is being played in 2011. Um, so Rock had returned at this point. Um, he was a uh, dominant player um, in the uh, early 2000s. Uh, and when I was playing, he was not around all that much. I don't think I, I ever really uh, saw him. So uh, Med saying you got to go, I believe, vehicle after two mexes. So he's kind of instructing Nico on what to do uh, on this map. And Med's bomber is out. And that's that up. So that's a really fast bomber, 122. Tip's bomber is out as well, so they pass. Med's run is not particularly successful. And Tip's run basically mirrors that. So, and Med's free to turn around and bomb back. Med manages to get a freedom fire off. Tip sends his bomber off screen to avoid that first missile. Tip's also got his freedom fire out as well. So... It was really just a, a mirror image bombing right there. Tip's asking for metal. And Med's coming in for a bombing run. Wind blocks is hit on the uh, a metal extractor. And Rock is kind of caught with his pants down here. He doesn't have any anti-air. Uh, so that bomber's just flying around for free. Tip's going to go ahead and bomb Nico, although Nico's managed to get some anti-air up. So now Rock is asking Tip to make some wins quickly. Nice run by Tip right there. Managed to bag that max, even though it was behind a wind. Tip bringing his fighter over. Too little too late. Rock reclaiming. Vehicle plant. Or did it get blown up there? Did I miss that? Am I just doing little raid runs right here? Med brings his bomber back. So it's nice bombing by Med right there. Med's got plenty of freedom fighters at this point. He hasn't built a construction uh, error. These little Ulok trees, 50 metal and 150 energy. So right there, it's a nice little 250 energy uh, metal right there, 300 right there. Um, and on both sides. And then Med's telling uh, Nico to fix the bomber. These team games, it's always hard to keep up with everything. Tip coming back in for a bombing run. Just hits the mechs and runs off screen. So Rock's got a single con here. Which doesn't bode well for fighting off uh, fighting off bombers. Med's bringing in his fighters here. Gonna try and win air superiority from tip. Nice moves by Med right there. Takes out tip's fighters, but tip... 
brings in the ones that he was using to cover rock and nice little flank takes out meds fighters tip retains air superiority at that point med gets a con out though so he's going to be able to get a missile tower up to stop this counter although tip might be able to snag this guy and he bags the con that's definitely worth worth the freedom fighter if he loses one looks like he got away nice job by tip there keeps both fighters alive bomber still alive too and the air con is dead and now the missile tower is down. Rock's gotten in the sea. But he's got a just a single con to deal with the bombing. Nico gave one of his cons to Med, but he's still got three. So they've got more building power on land right now than uh than Rock and Tip do. So Team France if they're able to survive, the bombing should be in decent shape. That's just dumping out missile towers at this point. Tip's asking for 40 metal so we can finish these. Med's instructing Nico to uh, to build skeets. But Rock's already got his skeets on the way here. So the reason why Tip's flying his fighters up here, he saw these disappear. So he was searching for that con air. There he goes, and he found it again. Nice job. By, uh, by Tip and Rock there to take out the construction air. That really puts Med pretty far back. He's lost two cons now. He's also getting doubled, getting hit by Rock as well. Missile Tower is busy shooting a skeet, so Tip's bomber can fly around and not get not get hit. Tip's got a con out now. He hasn't put down any missile towers. Rock has shared the skeets, so that way it's easier for him to control and collect his own while he goes to harass Nico. Now, Nico's walked his calm. Uh, I don't know necessarily know if I like that decision. To really be able to produce a large amount of skeets, you gotta have your calm sitting next to your uh, shipyard. But it looks like Rock did the same. He walked his calm on land to help cap and cover land. Although his calm is sitting idle right now. There he goes. You can see how he had his uh, screen down here so he's able to see. Uh, we can see what he's up to. Watching bombing right now, you can see how Rock actually is marking for Tip. That's really useful as an ally. Um, just to uh, mark. You can see that's Med's having to both bomb and mark. Um, you don't see any blue dots coming in from Nico. Um, Med warns... Uh, Nico to stay back and not try and push a C advantage here because he knows it'll leave a lot of wrecks um, there. So, and Meta's suggesting that he goes for the mexes. Tip bringing three bombers in. This is the number of bombers it takes to take out an airplane, um, but that run was not well aimed, didn't even hit the, uh, he was trying to get over the nano block there and it did not work out. Nano blocking is when you go ahead and you lay down one of those nano frames, and that will actually block bombs or missiles uh, or projectiles. Um, giving you the ability to defend something from bombers is what is most commonly used for. But uh, guard battles, big berth of battles. Rock pressing up on the shore here. And claiming these Ulak trees right here. So Nico's done great at uh, expanding and taking over the land here. Med says go now. So he's got two factories up. Rocks one. So this is going to give Nico the advantage. He's already got the numbers here. Rock had a con just kind of sitting out here. He'll probably lose that one. See how Med's continuing up the bombing here, keeping the pressure. 
Emily Tip was, although it looks like Tip is going for a walk here. He wants to get in the water. Rock retreats to the bay. Nice run by Tip there. Rock is attempting to go advance K-Bot at this point. Tip's having to expand with an Aircon here, so while they've had most of their mechs capped, um, they're right now. You see what Nico's doing here is he is force firing on the top of this underwater metal extractor, and that's going to kill it. You can see where it wiped out there. This is one of those little things that a lot of people don't know, is you can't actually do that to, um, to core underwater metal extractors. It's the fact that the arm ones have these little tines that stick up. It makes them taller and more susceptible to bombs and skeet missiles and other things. So, Tip's asking for more missile towers. But again, he doesn't have a lot of build power. He did get two K-Bots out. But, um, compared to the four cons that they've got on their land, that's just not very much. Med's just got so many markers here, he doesn't exactly know what he's bombing. Now, at this point, if I were Nico, I'd probably try to switch. Uh, Med's trying to pressure him to go in here and attack. Um, but Rock has got his pals done. He's gonna take out that other underwater metal extractor right there. You see how Nico's at 21. Meds at 12, Tip at 14, Rock at 12. So Nico's really got the economy at this point, considering he got to build those four um, construction vehicles and more or less not really get bombed that hard. Um, meant that uh, they've been able to stay ahead in economy. So even though Rock was able to get in the sea, he wasn't able to really press... Uh, that early advantage they didn't really have the economy to back it up. Um, Nico's going Crusader at this point. Um, like I said, that's something I probably would have done a little earlier in anticipation of those Pels coming out. They did have it scouted. Um, now the Pels are out, and Skeets have a hard time with Pels. But Crusaders, once you get enough of them, It'll be fine. Now you can see here Med's doing the uh, mirroring rock area. He's gone ahead and gotten his advance done. So he's going to be pushing out some pelicans as well. And just now, Tips will be able to get some cons out and start capping these underwater metal extractors. While as you can see, Nico sitting on most of them. Mez just continuing to pour on the coaching here. The sonar. So you can see uh, who the uh, leader of Team France is here at this point. Tips advising Rock to cap those metal extractors as soon as he can. But considering he's only got one con, he reclaimed his C. Nico's also farming winds here. Wind is very good on this map. You see Med's doing the same thing. Whereas... Tip and Rock really aren't. So... Tip's got his Crusader out, fighting the Pelicans. Med's, uh, Nico's bringing his tips up to fight Rock's Pelicans. Rock's going ahead and he's capping those metal extractors again. Tip's asking for a Pel. Uh, 
and Rock goes ahead and shares those over. Nico getting the Geo up. So it really looks like Team France is, is keeping that economy lead at this point. See right here, Nico's at 19,000 metal. Um, Med's at 10, Tip's at 11, Rock's at 16. So Team France has the advantage here in economy. There goes a failed invader bomb by uh, Med, blew up all of Nico's skates. But Rock doesn't have the Geo done at this point. This is a little bug that happens. It's just an animation thing. Sometimes when you share units, it shows that they're walking uh, when they're they're just like the other ones. So trying to take down Tips Crusader. They've got it surrounded. Goes down, but in the meantime, it looks like Med lost the majority of his pelicans. It's a nice wreck field right in the base of uh, of the Finland Gibraltar combo. It's not very good UC by uh, by Nico here driving them up into the uh, into the Pelicans, but he's got numbers at this point, so he should be able to take those down. And Rock's retreating. Yeah. This is Nico's economy right here. These ships are pretty expensive, um, close to a thousand each. You see how quickly they can take down Pels when you got a pack of them. Turning the excess energy away here. And Nico himself is going Pels. Just using that radar targeting right here and taking those down. You can see how fast they drop. The other thing to remember is Pelican Wreckage, um, the way the game treats it is as if it's on land. Um, so the ships can't actually go over it. You see how that Crusader ran up and bumped against it? So this is creating a little bit of a, a field it's difficult to get to. You can see how his Crusaders are getting hung up, making them easy targets for these missiles right here. They are worth a decent amount of metal, though, so you're going to see, I imagine, Rock and Tip trying to reclaim those. Nico's being cheeky, trying to reclaim that underwater metal extractor, and he drops a con for his trouble. Great job by Med here, bringing in this con air con to take advantage and clean up those wrecks. That's going to really boost his economy. You can see how much he's got in here. Nico repairing his damaged crusaders. I really gotta say, it looks like at this point the game belongs to Team France. Ship's gone. Gotten vehicle. Anticipate for cons. Yep, there he goes. Let's speed it up here since the thing to have slowed down. Less bombing runs going on. They're still continuing to build bombers, though. Tip says no thanks about Pels. Looks like they really want to try and press this, press this advantage that, uh, that Nico's won. So you can see how they're just controlling that wreck field, too. Nico's coming in, taking over these metal extractors. Rock's finally farming up some wins here. Got the Geo going. This Geo remains uncapped. That's capping his. And Rock has gone and put up a Guardian. Helps. That'll help him secure those wrecks a little bit. And uh, you can see he's just using that to drive back Nico's C. I don't know what Tip was doing there. Let's find a single bomber in. Med sending way more Pels down in. 
you see how nicely these crusaders are cleaning those up. As they get veterancy, they become more accurate. Um, none of those are. So here we go. We got an invader going in. Nicely done by Rock. Cleans up those, uh, those pelicans. And they won the wreck field by doing that there. Nico's being a little timid with his navy. Um, but Tip has a nice crusader force now at this point to rival, rival Nico. That's why I don't necessarily think going advance was the best for him. He went air as well. So, it's kind of where if you, if you put, you know, you split up your, uh, your research advantage in too many spots, so he went air and he went advance, um, it really just kind of let them lose that advantage that they had earned in the sea at that point. Another invader. Does pretty good damage to those crusaders, and Tip is able to drive in. Nico's not retreating. And he's dropping crusaders like crazy at this point. Nico says, ouch. By bringing in bombers, he realizes he doesn't have any air defense over them, no skeeters or anything like that. So he uses the bombers to scare them off. But Tip and Rock have regained control of their sea. Uh, Nico's at 49, Med's at around the same. Tip and Rock seem to be short, uh, hovering around 30. Now you can see our Rock has really kind of exploded here. Um, those cons, Tip was just pumping those out and sharing them. Rock's asking if he should go BB. Tip suggests Hawks. Resource continues just to boom here on the land here. And this is one of the things with Tip. He's always a, uh, still is an excellent builder. So he just sees the opportunity to build and just get huge. Uh, and he does it. He goes for it. So I also think hawks are a pretty good idea. Where uh, crusaders and pelicans are being pretty are pretty dominant. Um, good idea to uh, get those. Tip comes in and raids. Ned's asking for advanced radar. He really wants eyes on. I don't think the guys have... Yep, they don't actually see Tip's giant force coming in here. Med brings in the Hawks and the Bombers. Nice run by Med there. Cleans out that, uh... the advantage that Tip had. And so he... Tip retreats at this point, says OMG. He has a lot. Really, though, it was Med's uh, bombing run there that cleared that up for Nico. So... Rock's got his hawks up. Med bombs the Guardian and bombs the advanced K-Bot lab. Fails to get... Nope, nope, he gets it. Nice job on the return there by Med. Team France looks like they're back in the driver's seat. Thanks to Med's uh, hawks and bombing run there. Tip trying to return the favor here doesn't get it just yet. It'll go down to these missile towers, likely. There it goes. Rock gets his Hawk production back up, using all those air cons that he built. I don't know if that's a good use of Hawks by Med right there. He's got, they got too many missile towers. Here's a better use, though. Taking advantage of their C. Nico's sending out air cons on the patrol. He's already cleaned up all that wreck that wreckage that looks really good for Team France. Tells him to go. And Tips comms in trouble. See all those sonars go up. He's cloaking at this point. He doesn't want to get picked up. He knows it's dangerous for him to go out and land, because not only will these guys shoot him, the Hawks will get him too. Tip's in big trouble now. 
Be guns. Takes out some crusaders. And down tip goes. Tip says bah, sorry. That cleans up. That cleans up, uh. Nico's navy, but I don't know if that's gonna matter at this point. Nico's gone ahead and gotten his hawks out too. The rocks production. The sheer building power of Team France right here looks like they got this. All that wind. Rock at 56 metal. Or 47, rather. Med at 65. Nico at 70. Rock will have to uh, produce a miracle here. Two Hawk Factories up. Go and see again. Two Hawk Factories for Nico. Two for Matt. And they go on the attack. Rock has got to decide what he wants to take out. Oh, this is a bit of a suicide run by Med right there. They go about even on the Hawk exchange there. Med continuing just to send Skeets to their death. But I doubt he really cares too much about that. They're busy keeping Rock plenty busy. And Rock says GG, he's gonna surrender. He knows the attack is done at this point. And the win goes to Team France. Uh, Nico and Med take that from Tip and Rock. So, uh, good game, guys. Uh, that looked like to me, though, it was mostly won pretty early. Um, Med just got... Um, I mean, really, the, the bombing and everything like that was, was pretty mirrored. It's just Nico pumped out those cons, and even though he didn't make the best use of his units, he really made the best use of those cons there. He definitely just built and built and built. Um, like I said, I think it was a little bit questionable to kind of spread himself out to multiple different things, but he had the resource to be able to pull it off. You can see right here, metal produced Nico, 103,000. Um, and so he was able to just take that uh, and just turn that into Crusaders and Hawks and, uh, and win the game there by driving Tip out of the sea. So... Um, well played by you guys. Uh, thanks for getting this game to me. And of course, you guys need to um, uh, abuse the uh, the subscribe and like button. Um, make sure you uh, you, you do that. Um, and uh, Chevy's around. If you uh, you got somebody's interested in Total Annihilation, wants to check it out.